My name is Larry with Under the Bridge Flies, and we're going to tie what they call a bruiser bugger. Uh, it's a super powered woolly bugger, is basically what it is. And um, I know a lot of guys like those woolly buggers, so um, this should be a really popular pattern. Uh, we got in a 1710 number 4 2X Daiichi hook, and you could go to uh, number 2 or even smaller if you wanted with these. Um, the, we're using a UTC olive, brown olive thread, 140. And we're going to uh, just start it up here behind the eye of the hook here and just bring it back about a quarter of the way down the shank. Snip off your tag. Then we're gonna put in a set of uh, Wapsi lead eyes, and I'm using large yellow for this one, and we're going to put those right on top here. And just uh, once you get those secured in, just get some uh, figure eights around there, and then go under and over over the top of your hook under the barbell and what that does is it tightens all that thread around and really tightens that dumbbell eye up real good and then we're just going to take and uh, put a little dot of super glue on the front of that and that'll hold that eye into place real good for you um, you could use a uh, your zappa gap if you wanted to but super glue just um, dries a lot quicker and works better for this anyway the next thing we're going to do is you're going to take some uh, olive woolly booger marabou or some uh, blood quill is what I'm using um, I just like the little bit stringier tail that the blood quill makes and you're just going to get those together and we're going to make them about the the tail is going to be the little bit the shank of the hook you know a little bit longer maybe but and just uh get all that tied in and you're going to want to you're going to two-tone these if you want but um you want to put the darker color on bottom because this fly is actually going to fish upside down the lead eyes is going to turn that hook so that's going to be inverted like that so anyway once you get that in there you just uh, trim off your extra and you see I trim that off to where it'll go pretty much all the way up to the behind those barbell eyes keep that body nice and uh, kind of nice and flat all the way across there and bring your thread back a little bit Next thing you want to put in is I'm using a sand um, white uh, lighter olive, you know, uh, orange, whatever colors you know that you prefer. I just like this uh, olive and sand color. So and then we're going to put the sand on top, and you're going to use a little bit about half of what you did on the olive. And you're going to make it just as long and just go ahead and tie that in and the same thing you want to make sure that you uh, get it up to about the back of those barbell eyes keep your body nice and even and just go ahead and bring your thread back to the back of the shank of that hook and the next thing I'm putting in is I'm using a neck hackle and I'm using an olive neck hackle. You can use a uh, saddle hackle or schlappen, but these here, just uh, the feathers on these neck hackles are just a lot more stiffer and they make your woolly burgers, you know, to where those, you know, stick out and they've got a lot better movement in the water. 
other than, you know, like they're slapping or something, you know, it just pushes back and stays there. These here are a lot stiffer, so you're going to get a lot better movement as far as your legs. So anyway, we're just going to tie that in and bring our thread back here. All right, so I'm using a ice Chanel and I'm using a medium olive on this one. Um, like I said before, the colors are pretty much up to you. You know, use your imagination, whatever you think the fish will like. And you're just going to take and you see, I got a little bit of a empty. Strip that off to where I'm down to just the um, thread up underneath. And I'm just going to tie that in by the thread there and just move your uh, thread all the way up to the front of the eye and if I'm just going to throw a quick double whip finish on this just to hold that up there for me now you can either wrap it around manually or if you have a rotating vise then you can just go down through and rotate that on there and once you get up to the back of the high, just go ahead and capture that, capture that with your thread and zip that extra off. These ain't too bad. I mean, these are pretty easy to tie. So, I mean, even uh, beginner tires should be able to tie some of these up real good. And I'd say these things are going to be pretty deadly. So, um, if you wanted to, you could add you a little bit of flash, you know, in the back of that tail there, give it a little sparkle, you know, fish like that, a little sparkle there, but we're using the ice Chanel to give it a little, so anyway, bring up your neck hackle or your slapping, whatever you're using right to the back and capture it and just trim that little bit of extra off. But you see how that is, you know, a lot stiffer and See how those just go right back to upward position there. Um, so, like I said, this neck hackle is just a, I like it a little bit better for woolly boogers, but um, here's one that I did in uh, black and red. And you can see that. So, next thing we're going to add is some uh, silly legs. And I got these uh, silly legs. They're uh, actually bass skirts is what they are. But I got this bag and I've been using this bag for quite some time. There's four different colors in this. I got it on eBay for like 20 bucks. But you can see they're, I mean, the same exact thing as silly legs. And if you're trying to save some money, normally I don't shop on eBay. Um, I just uh, seen those and I was like, Huh, give them a shot and boy that thing's going to last me forever and you know them silly legs they're really good product but they're not cheap either so um, anyway so we're going to put that in there and give it a couple wraps around and just take your silly leg and pull it to each side you know down on the bottom if you want to you know get it down there and then just uh, grab a hold of them and pull them to the back and just go ahead and tie that in. Put some ties around there, and it doesn't matter if you build up a little thread there. Like I said, the, your fly is going to be down on the bottom like this, so if it's up on top a little, that's a good thing. So um, just get that in there. Now the next thing I'm putting in is I'm using an ice dub by Hairline, and I'm using a peacock. And we're just going to grab a little chunk of this and. Just go ahead and dub that on. And we're just going to go ahead and wrap around that and figure eight around those eyes. <coughs> Excuse me. Get that all in there. There we go. All right. So beautiful. The next thing we're going to put in is Pasito hair. Um, you can use craft for um, uh, the skull uh, sculpting 
for you know pretty much anything you want to I like this uh, hair here so if you can see I'm using the sand again and this stuff just is really really nice for uh, streamers of any type and you can uh, hairline makes this and the colors are just they got tons and tons of colors but um, as you can see I mean when you're dealing with the hairline I got the you know their colors are just you know pretty matched up real good on all their products so um, anyway so uh, toothbrush and then we're just going to uh, brush this out what I do is I lay this on the base I lay this on my base and we're just get that good and brushed out hold on to this end fairly tight and what you're doing is you're getting all those little see there you're getting all that little crap fur out of there <laughs> crap fur not craft fur crap fur <laughs> get it all out of there this is the it takes longer to do this than it does tie this entire fly <laughs> but anyway um don't forget you know make sure you clean it out good and put it back where your wife keeps it when you're done with that toothbrush all right so what you're going to do is basically you're just going to set this half on top here and you're going to want to split it you know not quite middle you want this end to be you know longer to where when you fold it over that goes over the top there so and what we're going to do is is basically catch sure that up here and then just go ahead and fold your top part over and you see how that's just you know a little bit longer and we're just going to go ahead and get some wraps in front of that and try to just capture the very end of that sometimes it's a pain but there you go now this uh neck hackle will hold that up for you so you want to have to trim some of them neck hackles off you know right behind that to get it to lay down really good but once it gets wet you know it's going to just fly back air anyway so then you can just take your uh, toothbrush again and comb that out some and see if you want to add some more you know so we're just going to go ahead and build this up a little bit so we can get that captured a little bit more get some good nice tight wraps on that and we're just going to basically whip finish here you know you could actually uh, run you a little bit more uh, peacock or, um, dubbing or whatever color dubbing you wanted to around that to help hide some of that string if you wanted um, you don't have to do this I mean you're just making a head so but that'll just uh, help clean that up a little bit and give you a little sparkle up front too and then whip finish and like always we double whip finish all of our flies just uh, makes a better product so and snip that off and you can uh, add your little uh, head cement down there with uh, some Zapagat just a little dot on there to help hold that all together makes a better fly and then you want to take your legs and just pull them straight back and you want to keep them about halfway into your tail there you know so and then like I said you're gonna this will all swim back once it's in the water and that's actually going to swim like this anyway so um, it'll look really nice and that there is the bruiser burger bruiser bugger <laughs> can't even say it anyway so um, it's a nice pattern y'all should tie some up I bet this thing will just kill some fish well I don't know I kill fish we don't want to kill fish anyway um, if you want to you want to take a little piece of velcro and just uh, run it across that and 
get that uh, ice dub, you know, nice and fluffy down there to give a little bit more sparkle. Um, this Velcro, uh, Family Dollar, Dollar Store, Dollar General, any of those, back in the home section, you know, where they got their tapes and stuff, um, they got these little packages of Velcro, and you can, I get like four out of one of these, you know, strips, you know, about that wide, and there's like eight or nine of them in there, I don't know, but anyway, they last forever, and these work great for, you know, um, you can, comb your fur with it, you know, you can, uh, I use them on, uh, scuds a lot, you know, get up underneath that scud and just do that a couple times and pulls them fibers right out, you know, it's a lot quicker and easier than a dubbing needle, I believe, and it costs a dollar for a ton of these and they last you forever, so anyway, um, little helpful hint there, um, anyway, that's it, the bruiser, bugger so um i hope you enjoy the video um tie some of these up tag me if you do and we will uh i'd like to see uh the colors that you come up with and your patterns anyway thanks for watching my videos i appreciate it and we'll see you on the next one